morning butterflies it's your girl Pam and I am here to talk about um, my stressors I've got a lot on me y'all um, we've talked about um, in the past with um, just my kids, you know, my kids, everybody's home. Kiana came back with a package. That's Dre. <laughs> Y'all met him on the first video that I've, you know, since I've started back. And so, you know, God knows I love him to death and I love my kids, but it's a lot of stress. And so, you know, Kiana, um, has bipolar disorder. She has schizophrenia and she is also diagnosed with, uh, psychosis. So there's a lot of components there. I'm not you know, the bi bipolar, if you're not familiar, has very, very highs, which are called manics, and very, very lows, which are the depressions. Uh, with the schizophrenia and the psychosis, you're hearing voices, and you are also very paranoid. And so she's going to come on, you know, and kind of give her take on it. Um, I'm not sure if Janae's going to come on, but I know Bree said that she would. Just to, you know give another perspective i guess of how the relatives how the other folks in the person's life of who has the disorder um has to live um and you know um it's just not it's not the easiest thing that i've ever done with dealt with you know if you sit and you say you have cancer or if you sit and you say you have um, diabetes or heart condition or anything like that, we tend to give a little bit more compassion. Um, with mental disorders, um, there's a stigma. Now, I, like I said um, in one of my other videos, I, I can only speak from the black african-american culture it's a stigma we don't talk about it we don't want to talk about it we don't want to say that we go to therapy i shout it to the moon honey i've had so many people kind of come to me behind the scenes and say hey can you give me a little bit of information about you know um our benefits and because i think i need to go see somebody but i'm not really wanting to you know let everybody know and so it's a stigma but i've had all races come to me so I have um, really tried my best to um, deal with this. It is hard. Um, I told you I'm from the old school, so a lot of the manic stuff that Kiana goes through, it, it can come off very disrespectful um, as her, you know, her mom. And because I'm her caregiver, anytime you know, you're dealing with mental issues or brain disorders that have like Alzheimer's or things of that nature the caregiver is the one that gets it the most and you know I've only dealt with those types of situations my mom had Alzheimer's you know I'm dealing with Kiana now so um the caregiver is the brunt of stuff and so um it's been a many a days that I've just literally sat in my driveway just to have a peace of mind of not um, tiptoeing around, not feeling that ne negative energy. Um, and it's hard because I'm talking about my child and I'm going to try not to get emotional, but you know, you love your child. I love her more than life itself, but not always the most, um, not the easiest. To get along with not to the easiest to have a conversation with um some of the traits of the bipolarness is manipulative um they're very manipulative and um they're thinking because they really feel like you are out to get them and so they tend to change it around and make it as if it's your fault. And so, um, yeah, I 
spend a lot of time in my room. I spend a lot of time in my car, in my driveway, just to have a peace of mind. Um, the manics are really, really manic. Um, I've had to call the police. Um, it, it's, it, it, I don't know. <laughs> I, honestly, I don't know, y'all. It's one of the hardest things that I've had ever done in my life and it's only because I can't fix it I'm her mom I'm supposed to be able to fix it and now she's a mom and so that's the added stress of um, making sure that um, Dre is not caught a lot of times in the whirlwind um, she's an excellent mom she's an excellent mom but sometimes she just can't help her manics and so our duty as her family is just to um, allow her to have that time removed right from the, from the, oh, I'm going to try not to, remove Dre. Um, it, she's, I, I want to make this very clear. She's never done anything to put Dre in harm's way. Um, and she would never do that um, intentionally. So let me just make that quite clear. <clears throat> um, Y'all can tell this is a sore spot for me because um, I don't ever want my child to think that I don't believe in her. But we also agreed that we needed to bring awareness. So it's a little hard. Um, but we work together and make sure that everything is taken care of. There's an added layer because Dre's father also has the same diagnosis. So, um, I will let you, let her tell you his story or we'll tell it together. Um, but because of the fact that, um, He's going to be back around. I'm trying not to give anything away. So that's why I'm saying it kind of, you know, sparingly. But he'll be back in the picture in April. Um, yeah, I, I can't, you know, it is what it is. He's incarcerated right now. Um, they should have done what's called a 1013, which is a mental disorder uh, that was a... Um, where he was in a manic and they should have done that and they didn't and they called it in as a criminal thing and unfortunately he's he's there he'll be out in april and so they're having to reunite their family which is going to be different and we don't know what that looks like so that causes added stress so i'm gonna give a shout out to one of my girls um she's like my own child her name is courtney and she got it from her sister kristen um, but I was stressed out today and she told me, she says, mommy, she says, there are no bunk beds and graves. And I was like, do what? She said, there's not a bunk bed, a bunk bed in your grave. There is nobody that is going to die for you or die in place of you. So you have to make sure that you're taken care of. So I'm trying to use that as hashtag. <laughs> got to get my mind right, I guess. 2020. I, I got to get my mind right. Um, because, you know, I can't be helpful to anybody if I'm not. So, um, questions for me, for Kiana, that y'all might have as far as mental disorders um, that we know about. Um, the bipolar, the schizophrenia, and the psychosis is the ones that she's more familiar with, I'm becoming familiar with. Um, she said something that was so enlightening to me and I want her to share it with you all and so we'll do that soon. But ask some questions. If you've got any questions, I, I, I don't have all the answers. We've gone to therapy, psych visits. Um, she's switched uh, different medicines again. 
Um, we had her pretty much stable before pregnancy. She ended up um, coming off of her medicine. We didn't have any problems, no manics, no nothing while she was pregnant. Um, even while she was breastfeeding. So I guess the body, you know, the, the body works for itself. And so it kept her out of manics and depression. But then once she stopped breastfeeding, she started going back into manics. So we're having to figure out what this new medicine is going to be. Um, and so we're probably on our third one since Dre was born. So just, um, you know, keep us in our in your prayers. You know, it, it's just one of those things that we are working through. So, um, this is this is my life, y'all. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Um, but share it. You know, ask your questions. Share your experiences if you so would like to. Uh, I would love to hear from you guys. Um, and we'll talk to you soon. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. I keep saying that because I just want you guys, whoever it's for, it's for. Um, but if you so choose to subscribe, please do so. If you give it a thumbs up, I'll be excited about that too. But more than anything, I would just love to hear you guys' comments. You know, I love to interact with you all. So um, until the next time, butterflies.